Hey everybody, Matt from Eastwood. Today we're working on my Model T project that started out as basically a pile of parts. With any type of project like this, you're going to run into areas where there's just no metal at all and we need to make it from scratch. So I'm gonna be making a door sill and door jam area on this vehicle here, which you can see there's nothing left. So we're gonna to have to make this part completely from scratch and make it fit the car and also the door. And I'm gonna use the Eastwood Elite Shrinker Stretcher to make the project go a lot quicker. So let's get started. I began by measuring the length and width of the door opening and cut a piece of 18 gauge steel to match. I then broke the metal to 90 degrees so that I had a correct width flange on both sides of our new door jam. Reference marks were added every one inch so I could easily track my shrinking and stretching on the metal. The outside corners of the jam needed the most movement, so I removed the shrinker jaws and installed the stretcher jaws and worked those areas first. I stretched the numbered area where the radius of the front lower corner spanned. I moved around that area until the corner was bent to about 90 degrees and I checked my progress on the car. I made note of which numbered marks needed more stretching and repeated the process until the first corner was fitting the door opening well. The front corner now fit the car and I was able to move to the rear corner. The next bend wasn't as severe as I only need to match the angle of the remnants of the original door jam. I made notes of which numbers needed to be stretched and quickly formed the piece to match in the Elite Shrinker Stretcher. All right guys, so we're moving along pretty well, uh, the new Elite. Uh, shrinker stretcher moves the metal really, really quickly. And you can see we got the general shape of this door jam area really quick. And uh, we're dialing in now just these curves to get them to fit a little more exact uh, around the door so that everything flows. So one thing to note is that pretty much all doors on all cars, they have a compound curve to them. So not only do they have the curve going around this way, it's gonna have a curve top to bottom, which you can kind of see here, uh, the old uh, section of the cowl doesn't really have that curve to it and it's also going to have a curve front to back to it so once we get the heavy um, shaping done in this area uh, then we can go into these uh, other flanges and shrink or stretch them to get the shape that we want uh, in those subtle areas in the top to bottom and, and front to back so I'm going to dial it in just a little bit more and then we should be able to trim this and get ready to uh, start welding it in place. With the new jam starting to fit the car pretty well, I cut out the remainder of the original that was interfering so I could continue to adjust the new one for better fitment. I then began shrinking the inside flanges to match the contour of the door. This process took a number of passes to slowly shape the panel so that it fit the car and the door correctly. Once the outside perimeter of the new jam matched the body, I used a slapping spoon to roll the lower edge just past 90 degrees to match the angle of the bottom of the door just above it. Now that the new jam fit the car very well, I was able to cut off the excess material on the inside edge where it overlapped the door sill I had made previously. I then sanded all of the paint and rust off of any surrounding metal we were going to weld so that it was all clean. 
After cleaning the metal, I fit the panel up to the car and you can see how the new jam fits against the body with almost no gaps. I used a couple of panel clamps to hold the metal in position before we began welding. I started tack welding the areas where the panel was clamped and the weld joint was tight and flush. I adjusted the weld seam as I went, making sure everything stayed in position. I then jumped to the door sill area and I welded the new jam to the sill that I had made earlier in the project. After the door jam was fully welded in place, I used the Palm DA sander and the two inch orbital sander to smooth the weld seam and smooth out any marks left by the shrinker stretcher. All right, so I got the panel welded in and I got the weld seam just knocked down with the sander really quickly. And I'm happy with how this came out. It got the front and rear half of the body connected together. Everything's a lot more solid. And we got the job done really quickly. Now the biggest thing that I'm excited about here is we have a door that latches and fits, which is pretty exciting for this car with how rough it is. So the Elite Shrinker Stretcher really made this job go quickly because it moves metal so fast. To see all the tools that you saw in this video and more, make sure you visit eastwood.com.